It's been called the Great Resignation. A Gallup survey found that 48% of America's working population is actively job searching or watching for new opportunities. We're going to talk about how to hire and retain your best employees. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Hey, are you aware that I have a free weekly newsletter? I'd love to send it to you. It deals with all sorts of productivity issues, Evernote, uh, getting things done, you name it. It's covered in the weekly newsletter, which is absolutely free. Please sign up. All you have to do is go to my website, DaveEdwardsMedia.com, click on the contact button, fill it out, and I'll take it from there. The reason why this is really an important issue for employers is because when an employee leaves, the cost to the company is typically one and a half to two times their annual salary. While the company could do things to increase employee retention, it can also avoid making mistakes during the hiring process. So first of all, you wanna be clear about what the job really entails, the experience you need and the success uh, of what that position will look like. The needs to be articulated in a job posting and the job description. And all of this should be part of the interview with potential candidates. Now, finding suitable candidates is always a challenge, particularly during a time of low unemployment. But with many people looking for work, finding the right person shouldn't be impossible. Encourage your current staff members to make recommendations. Some companies will even offer a finder's fee for their staff. Talk to your customers and your clients to see if they know of anyone that would be good in that kind of position. Ensure that the interview process includes the participation of those who will work in the department where the new person will be. The hiring manager can get valuable feedback from people who will work with a successful candidate. Let finalists show what they can do. I've had candidates for marketing positions write sample news releases or make suggestions about advertising plans. We had candidates for a business position analyze our financial statements. You might also want to use instruments like Myers-Briggs to assess your candidates. Now, here's one that I actually think is important. Check references. Some employers don't bother to do this because they don't expect to learn much from someone the candidate has suggested. Well, my advice is to ask non-typical questions. Instead of asking like, so what do you think about Mary? Ask, what is it like to work with Mary? Also ask references if they recall positives and negatives about the person and listen for words like enthusiasm and detail oriented and easy to work with. Once you've hired someone, make sure they can be mentored by one of your top workers. They should have goals and periodic meetings to ensure that they are on task and comfortable in their job. Employers should do everything they can to hire the right person and set them up for success. Doing so should improve retention while also helping the culture of your organization.